Let me go to Marvin before we break. Marvin, wanted to get you on the air. We're moving quickly this morning, but wanted to give you time on the airwaves. How are you, my friend? I'm doing good, Joe. How are you doing? All right, hanging in, hanging in. It ain't, it, like Rodney used to say, it ain't easy. I'll tell you, it's not easy. You know, but we're doing the <laughs> we're doing the best we can, man. It, it's tough being in America in America today, um, Joe. I want to hit you with three things because people remember things in threes. And so first, I'm going to say we got to pray, you know, being the good Catholics that we are. Yes, sir. We need to do a comprehensive after actions review as we would in the military. And we need to discern what happened. And, you know, part of the strategy that people are throwing out there is to go, fall in with the Democrats and play the game of early voting and drop boxes. We're never going to win at that game. That's a short term strategy. Um, and I'm OK with that in the, in the interim. But it's not a plan. We need to go back to. When I was a kid and when I was a young adult, we had machines and we had paper ballots and everything was done on election day and not election season. So that's the first target. We got to knock that out. We got to return to what we had because these machines, all they do is they make more moving parts and create more opportunity for cheating. Yeah. The second thing, second thing is we got to know our enemy. And, and I got to tell you, if you're doing something over and over again and it doesn't work and you think it will, that's insanity. Mitch McConnell and Kevin McCarthy, dare I say, they're not working. And they withheld funds so that they could yep. maintain just enough control but not have the responsibility of, of being in power. And what we got to do is, like, you look at people like Chris James, and, yeah, she's a nice lady when she's begging you for money. But when you look at the sheer terror she's inflicted on the Trump family illegally, we need to go after her and – her individual capacity as a prosecutor, as an AG, and prosecute her for her crimes. And it's, it's like this. I'm an old football player, right? Yeah. A guy with moves will juke you all day long yeah. and, and make nice, fancy moves. You look at his belt. You look at his belt, you know where he's going, and you tackle him in the back. <laughs> that's what we got to do, Joe. Great, and that's great, great analogy. Right on the money. Marvin, thank you, man. Always appreciate you listening. Always appreciate you checking in, my friend. Thank you so much. That is so true. I mean, I was never, I, we used to play flag football. I know we got a break. Debbie's coming up. And uh, Mark Borg is going to join us. And I remember I, um, there was one guy running through. We played tough flag football. with, with it, it was like street football in Jacksonville, Florida, with guys that were retired from the uh, NFL or didn't make the NFL. And they weren't happy about not uh, – they weren't happy about getting cut. They were tough. But the way you, you look at the belt – and, and and actually, I, I remember one guy was getting through the line, and I looked at his belt. I took exactly got him down, but I got my teeth kicked in in the interim. So was, <laughs> <laughs> his, man, I got him though. I had him down, but I got knocked out. I was my face was in the dirt, and I went. And I remember breathing in the dust from the dirt. Went out, and my teeth are all. So, oh, please, only in me, you know. But yeah, you but still Mar- have a million dollars, smile. <laughs> well, you know, I, I bought that. But aside from that, no. thank you, thank you. But Marvin's right. Why Watch the belt. You can see the move. Hey, uh, Debbie's out there on the roads. 821 on AM 970. The answer. Checking out traffic for us. Hello, Debbie Duhame. How are we doing this morning? I don't know if we should play against ex-NFL or guys who are trying to make the oh, NFL. Oh, I mean, this, I mean, these this guys is are it. big. big no, this is it. So I, I, we would line up and they would, we yeah. would play uh, and we would play and out, they would put me on the front. And it was uh-huh. like our, our our guys from college against these ex NFLers, and I looked at one guy, and I lined up on the line. Listen, I looked at one guy; he had to be six five, six six, huge. And I looked at him, and he saw the look on my face, and he looked at me, and he said, "Don't worry, son, I ain't gonna hurt you." That's. <laughs> Oh, I said, man. I'm going like, yeah, thank you, sir. There's a quarterback. If you'd like <laughs> to go, you, he's man. right there. I'll help you walk <laughs> over to the quarterback. Oh, these guys were animals. Huge. Oh, but- man.